wrestled in the possible. My daddy wrestled a lion and saved my life last night. My daddy is not the lion wrestling the type. Actually, he's the a little girl from my age, but after 20 years in the U.S. Navy, I got my ass a desk job kind of guy. He's a Libra, balanced, not prone to wild fits of crazy like five dollars. Don't talk much. When we do, it's all pleasantries and fluff. The last word in every conversation is a trembling domino, terrified of being the one to start the collapse. We're both so afraid that this house of cards we built on our laps will fall. He and I are sort of like black ice. We look just fine on the surface. But every now and then, I long for a collision, for the invisible chaos underneath our wills to halt the pretense someday. Like money or time, or love. That heavy ass no always falls on my chest, breaks shit, and I'm out of crazy blue. But please do not mistake this for it. My dad wasn't there for him because he was. And when my mother vanished in a puff of crack smoke, my disabled brother and I ate because my dad worked. He made it possible for me to grow up a middle class black girl in a city where military money made kids think we were rich. But somewhere along the way, he forgot that princesses never stopped meeting their daddies. And while there was no wicked witch, there was a Cinderella. And a very human step out of the fears of her own in a home that was not big enough for the most of us. shit has been happening as of late, and it's starting to affect my sleep. See, on November 4th, Tuesday of that week, I went to bed, and when I woke up, a black man was president. I went to bed last night, and my daddy, my graduated from college a year after me, married the two children at the age of 19, daddy, was president in my crazy-ass dream, and there was no one in the White House except for him and me, but this house was not made out of trembling dominoes or a deck of cards. The chairs in this house were hard and solid, like the foundation of two people who had finally learned how to love each other. And we walked around that White House sharing secrets and exploring hidden rooms like a daddy and his daughter watching cartoons when she was nine. I was suddenly transported to a time when our relationship was not a broken watch. My father was a man who knew me and loved me and showed me it was so, and I don't know how we ended up in the White House backyard. But we were having such a good time, we must have been caught off guard because a lion sprang out of nowhere and tried to attack my daddy, y'all. The man I haven't trusted with my heart in 15 years had my back, my daddy, but that lion for me. And I know it's just a dream, and it might not make any sense, but as of that Tuesday and ever since, something in me has shifted. And maybe y'all missed it, but two little girls who finally look like me, just like me in a White House, playing hide and seek with their daddy. And I never thought that was plausible. So I'm going to call my father tonight. I'm going to tell him I love him. Believe that he will return those words and mean it. Because I woke up this morning certain that anything is possible. Good night, Tyler.